Today we're testing the 2021 Panamera GTS, which Porsche designed to be the most sporting Panamera in the model line. It comes with a 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8, which makes 473 horsepower, 20 horsepower more than last year's model. It also makes 457 pound-feet of torque, and it's quite fast, getting from 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds and on to 186 miles per hour top speed. But with the V8 all-wheel drive and a more sporting suspension, we wonder if it actually is the, the most sporting version of the Panamera. This video is brought to you by SunTech Paint Protection Film. Protect your Porsche with SunTech Reaction, combining the benefits of paint protection film and ceramic coatings. The GTS comes standard with Porsche's air suspension, an active damper system, or PASM, and the suspension is ride height adjustable. As is the case with all Porsche GTS models, the car looks more aggressive. It comes with a lot of black accents, including black wheels, black rocker panels, and tinted taillights. And also you get the sport design package, which includes this front fascia, which we think looks great on the car. While the GTS starts at around $130,000, our example is all the way up to $149,000, and it includes an array of options. Those options include chalk exterior paint, which we think looks nice on this car, it also includes uh, ant active anti-roll bars, or PDCC, with a PTV Plus, which is Porsche's torque vectoring system. And the option list also includes Porsche's rear axle steering, which no doubt helps this car in the way it handles. And this car, starting at $130,000, strikes a nice balance between the $106,000 Panamera 4S and the $170,000 Turbo S. So what you'll first notice when you get into the Panamera GTS is that there's a whole bunch of rate race techs, which is what replaces Alcantara. It's basically the same thing, different name. Uh, it adorns the pillars, the headliner, the armrest, the center console, and the seat centers. Um, there's also this GT Sport steering wheel, which comes standard with the Panamera GTS. It is a great size. It feels great in the hands. The touchscreen is intuitive. Um, I've always liked uh, Porsche's touchscreen system since upgrading with the uh, first generation of the current Panamera. Uh, what we have here is an upgraded PCM unit, uh, which all Panameras are, will be getting from now on out. Uh, the haptic panel is great to use. Sometimes in certain light, you'll see the options that you are missing, such as the seat coolers, which in this light you can't see. Um, and sometimes it becomes a problem when you're reaching and want to rest your hand on the panel to use the touchscreen. Sometimes you'll press one of these buttons over here. Um, otherwise, uh, the car has a great ergonomic setup and let's get ready to drive it. pull away, you'll notice that the best part of the GTS, which is the V8 engine, is going to be the star of the show. It has a, a low rumble uh, that's pleasing to the ear, tons of torque, all 457 pound-feet starts at uh, 1800 RPM and is with you to 4000 RPM, so there's no lack of grunt with this car. Right now we're in normal mode, which is the softest and least sporting of the three settings. Uh, that'll have softer active dampers, uh, the highest ride height, and overall the car is very relaxed in this setup. Step on the throttle, and we'll note that it has plenty of grunt. Not nearly as much as the Panamera Turbo S with 620 horsepower, but dare I say, it's actually easier to use and more enjoyable on a back road such as this. Turn it into sport mode and the revs 
go up as the car downshifts. I'm gonna put it into manual mode and it fires off, the eight-speed PDK fires off great shifts just like it always has in the past. No surprise there. Uh, the suspension is firmed up a bit. It feels really nice on a bumpy back road like this one. And so far, what I'm almost noticing is compared to the base car, which is very well drive and a bit lighter at around 4,200 pounds, this is about 4,500 pounds, is it feels nice and flowing around a back road. The weight is still there. You can feel it. But Porsche has tuned suspension so that it feels very playful. Um, I would say more so than the Turbo S. And I'm not quite sure if that's because the chassis tuning is different, which it likely is, or if it's easier to use 473 horsepower as opposed to 620. So I'm hearing a clicking noise over here with the touchscreen or haptic panel. And I believe that's something odd going on with the Apple CarPlay um, or something um, that just keeps firing off uh, clicks even though I'm not touching the screen. So maybe there's some little issue with this that could be rect rectified with the software update. So we're on the back road. I'm gonna put it in the Sport Plus and it's the most aggressive setting where the chassis is firmest. The exhaust is opened up. I'm gonna stick it into manual mode. And as I said earlier, this car feels playful. And right there, just with a bit of throttle and third gear, I was able to get the rear end into play a little bit. And that's something that I never really had the courage to do in the Turbo S. Um, but in this car with over 100 horsepower less, it's, it's a bit more manageable. Yes, this is a very nice car indeed. And what you're hearing back there is some camera equipment that's just sort of rolling around. Wish I could have secured that better. So I'm gonna try launch control start here. And yes, so that's how you're gonna to get to 3.7 seconds, zero to 60. Um, that is much more impressive than the base car. You're definitely working with more power and more torque. Man, the sound of this car is awesome. I love it. And yeah, I'll just reiterate again, this seems to be the sweet spot in the Panamera line. Uh, having not driven the Panamera 4S, I can't say that for certain. So as I wind down this drive on on this back road, I'm pondering just how good of a car this GTS is. And it's personally my favorite out of the Panameras we've driven recently, which would be the, the base model and the Turbo S, as well as this car. Um, this car just strikes the best balance, and if money is no object, um, I enjoy the handling more. Uh, the, the power and torque is much more manageable for a driver like myself. You know, I, I wouldn't know what to do with 620 horsepower in the Turbo S. Um, I'm sure I could get used to it. But right out of the box, this is just the sweet spot in the Panamera range, if you can afford it. Again, it starts at 130,000 bucks. This car is 150,000 bucks, including Porsche's Activana roll bars, rear axle steering, uh, Por Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus. So I'm not quite sure what a GTS would be like without those handling aids, but man, in its current form, you can't beat the sound, you can't beat the handling. Yeah, this is the, this is, this would be my pick.